Hi, welcome back to Kolski RC. I nearly said Kolski Drone. So today we're going to do a test of the firmware update for Zeno. It's on 1.1.52. I'll have the change log in the description, but mainly I just want to see its stability in flight and what difference it makes changing the speed of the yaw, etc. Because that should make a difference to the video quality you're going to see on the camera. One thing to remember is when you're doing an update on this, make sure you do everything. Everything has to be all done at the same time to make it right. So let's take off. The very small wind today, that has not dropped at all. But as you can see, that's probably the most stable it's ever been, whether that's made a difference on today's update, there's a little bit of drift there, but nothing major at all. So that's nice to see, let's get some altitude, go forward a bit, let's just hold it in the air. It's dropping very slightly there now, so let's have a look what difference these speeds make. Let's get it into eye level, so this is your at 100%. So let me just adjust the yaw. So if you go into air aircraft, maximum speed setting. So that was the yaw speed at 50%, sorry, not 100. So we're gonna drop it down to 40. So you've gotta be careful what you put it to because if you go too far, when you're normal flying, it'll take forever to turn on you, which is not what you want. So let's just go back to 100. So that's the 100, which is far too fast. So let's knock it down to about, we're gonna try it at 35, and we're gonna have a flight at 35. We're gonna change the, maxi, the maximum uh, horizontal speed down to 60, and the maximum, maximum vertical speed down to 60. Okay, let's try that. So first, first test we're gonna do is, we're gonna see how it flies. Does it drop any altitude? So let's go up in the air, get some height. Remember this is at 40% now on your. So it's still dropping a bit of height, but it's nowhere near as bad as it obviously was originally, because it recovers as it's coming straight again, if you notice. Still does that horrible thing when it stops, but Let's just try that again, let's do a figure of eight. Ooh, it's dropping low there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick it up. So it does still drop height. Let's just knock these speeds down and show you how low they go. So these are all at 10%. So as you can see, it barely turns. It's going up very slowly. Let's knock them back up again. So let's put the whole thing at 40 percentish, And we're going to take it for flight and let's see what the camera looks like. So these were the main things. The other thing I want to do, actually before we do that, I'm gonna do a really quick return to home because last time I tried this, it was miles out. So let's just get it there and let's come back out of there. Go back to the main menu. Let's just do a return to home. Let's see if that's any better because that seemed to me to be a bug of the first one. Now, it might just have been mine, but let's see anyway. So here it comes, it's coming back. I hope you can see that on the camera.
So you can see, if you look at the screen now, I hope you can see my screen, it's actually pointing it to the map because I'm using the landing mode where it's looking for an apron. Now, I have seen this not work on a few videos I've watched because of the colour of the apron. Now it wasn't going to hit it but as you can see it's much closer than it has been. So right we've done that so now the main thing I want to do is let's see what that camera footage looks like so let's hit record in fact let me just change the video settings because the last flight I think I did with this I did at um, 1080 so I want to do this one at 4k make sure that has changed Okay, so we're in 4K, so let's start the video. Right, so the video started, so let's see what it looks like on the video. So, overall, yeah, I'm happy enough. I'll leave you some comments down below if there's anything else I've noticed, but the things that I wanted to see better, there's some other things they supposedly changed, but to me, they don't really make a difference. So, how good the camera's gonna look at these 40%? Can you get more cinematic shots? Etc. So, I'm yawing there, I'm doing a yaw test there to see what it looks like, but let's go fly it. Like I said, for me the main part of this test is to see what it looks like, to make sure that it flies okay and can I get more cinematic shots. Now it's yawing slower. Now I can yaw slower. The video will tell. So you let me know in the comments down below what you think. I've obviously, if you look at that, it's full speed going forward, and I meant to do that. So I just want to see how good it is at cinema shots. So I'll leave you with that. I'll leave you with some footage, and you let me know in the comments what you think of the footage. You think it's seemingly better. The drone seems to fly nicer, in my opinion, and it's probably the best update so far. Still drops a bit in altitude, in altitude, but once you know it's there, it, it's not really a problem. And if you're higher up, you obviously don't get a problem at all. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up